Thanks for tuning in. I'd like to introduce my first guest, Emma Murunga. Emma is 44 years old and she has also lived through divorce. Emma, welcome to the show. Thank you. So probably just tell us, how did you find yourself going through separation and then finally div divorce? Um, I got married at the age of 25 in a church wedding to a very handsome uh, dude from Dodoma, Tanzania. Kiswahili kili kuchanganyisha pale. So down the line, many things happened after we got our first baby. And this is not to bring him down or to ridicule him. By the end of the day, he's still the father of my children. In those eight years, there was a lot of promiscuity. But uh, what happened is now when, uh, how I got myself into it is that when I was expectant now of our second baby, he left in the name of uh, Green Pastures to Dubai. I then got the baby during the post-election skirmishes. I got a baby boy, I thank God for him. And uh, I, I now later discovered that he had another family. So you get to hear through other people he's No, I didn't hear through other people. He informed you himself? No, he came visiting. Okay. And uh, in a few minutes asked for the daughter so that they go and buy a certain gadget. Uh, to, it was a gift to the girl. And then he had forgotten money in the house and sent the girl to pick the money through us checking through his bag. And then I came across a second marriage certificate. We also got a birth certificate mm. of the baby. Did you confront him? I did not confront him, but I asked questions. And uh, the questions that I asked, he was not willing to answer. He became violent and just packed and left. So how did this man mm. then end up taking a second wife? Mm -hmm. Was it because it was in Dubai? He thought he could get away with it? No, he left the, with the lady from here. So how was he able to have two marriages? Now, this is how I got to know uh, uh, about the two certificates. First and foremost, I saw the second one with my eyes. But secondly, when I was trying to pursue maintenance of the children and school fees, because I was in a place where I was, I was really struggling, because I was, uh, by the time he was leaving, we were living in Buruburu in an expensive house, and I had to downgrade and go to a cheaper house for me to manage the bills, being that now I was now introducing myself to being the breadwinner. So when I was trying to pursue maintenance, there is a time now I had to go legal and look for a lawyer to help me on, even if he's going to deposit the school fees in the school account direct. To me, that was fine. I even traveled to his home to see his uh, sisters to persuade him to just pay school fees direct to the school account, and still that was not forthcoming. So at this point, probably, did you try maybe sending your family to talk to his family? You know, ki Africa, ki Mile, na fika wakati, you're like, you know what, let me just call in the elders. Yeah, I have, I have, I have brothers whom I tried to use to persuade, and things were not just working. <laughs> At the point that you guys initially separated, how mm. old were the kids? The girl, the firstborn was in standard four, and uh, the boy, I was pregnant. At any point, other than him insulting you, did he come out and say, I want a divorce to you? He told me he has a new family, and I, I, I pick up myself and move from there. That's when I now decided to go legal, just to get the divorce. assistance. And again, yeah. I had seen the second marriage certificate. Then when I went to see this lawyer, the lawyer sent me to go to Sharia House to ascertain if, why, why the two papers right. in the same nation. I discovered at Sharia House that my paper was not valid. So how was your paper not valid? Because you he had a church wedding. Yes, he married me okay. with the wrong cup. Okay. The marriage certificate has marriage divorce act. Mm. And then there's the cup. So Kenyan to Kenyan is 151 and the foreigner to Kenyan is 150. So he had married me, the, the, the Sharia House told me he has married me with the wrong cup. So it is the second marriage that is valid and not mine. So the problem was from the beginning. It was not cropping up in the middle. He was fully aware. It is me who was in the darkness. And this one thing that had really cemented your union, you're mm. coming to find out that it was nothing more than a piece of paper. <laughs> it was not easy. Thank God today I laugh about it. Eh? Mm. But there's a time I never used to talk about it laughing. Eh? I would mm. talk and in the middle I just start sobbing. Mm. So it really hit me very hard mm. to a point whereby I, I, I started blaming myself. I separated myself even from family members. So I, 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 I was slowly dying from within. Mm. So I cannot tell you like it's something I just woke up and said, ah, shake off the dust and walk. No. It hurt you. Aye, yeah. It was big time, especially with the children. Mm -hmm. Like there's a time the girl would ask so many questions because they were friends and I had to 
literally pay a professional counselor to carry her through. Then the second baby, as he grew up, there's a time he would ask, who is my dad? Where oh. is he? He had never had the privilege of he doesn't him know him. in his he life. He doesn't know him. So I would go to Facebook and download his photos and with the other family and show him and tell him dad left, went to Dubai and has another family. So one time my son just comes and says, we learned in class, there is a nuclear family, dad and mom, and we also learned about a second family, single parented. Ah, mommy, I think this one of ours is single parents. Mm. Then I was like, oh, the boy is coping up with it mm. in a way, palatably in his age, although we can't give many bones. Eh? He's not in a place to digest so much. So he's never made any effort to have a relationship with his kids at all? He, he tried, and that's the time I went to Tanzania to look for him. His, his people, I mean, so that even if it's not about me, let it be the children. So at some point last year, when I tried to get the, the, the school fees, when my daughter was, uh, before my daughter was registered for KCSE, they needed the whole amount, and I could not raise the whole amount at that time. So when I, I just said, let me just swallow my pride and just keep pursuing mm -hmm. and see if he would be of assistance, even if he's going to pay to the school direct. And now when he told me, do you want me to steal? I was like, for 10 years, honestly, we've been asking for this support and uh, the answer, you know, it's better for someone to even tell you, I'm trying my best, even right. if he's doing nothing. You want me to steal? So I just knew now I've hit a dead end and I just have to pick up the bills. And being that uh, God has graced me in different ways, IMC weddings. So I just decided to go to see pastors and ask them who's getting married. So they would give me some of those couples and I would go and see their weddings and get some money. You get some people, they pay you well, and through that, I was able to supplement the income. Then again, somebody introduced me to a modeling agency where I went and registered as a model, and uh, I'm also a music teacher. I teach instruments, I teach music theory. So I would get some students, some little kids here and there, and just do a few of my multi-talents to supplement the income. So at least you're one of the few fortunate ones because clearly you, you, you didn't let yourself no, no, fall no, no. apart. Never. You picked yourself up very ah, quickly ah, never. and you put your kids first. They come first. The entire way you put your kids first. In fact, much of my time when I am free and there are women, even if they would be watching, they will tell you that this is true. I spent 90% of my free time with my children. Because by the end of the day, children are innocent. Yes. And being a teacher, the, the, the professional teacher I am, having taught children who are coming from such backgrounds, it was a moment for, them to, for me to understand them better. Mm. It was a moment for me to understand that it's not just about asking this girl, this boy to give you an A. They are struggling with so much. Before they give you that A, they need a shoulder to lean on. Before they give you that B, they need somebody whom they can pour their heart to. Because I've taught children whose parents are absent and because of marital conflict. And as a result, that made me have a revelation about my children. But now what pushed me to get the strength, I looked at, I started looking for my classmates in Bunyore Girls High School on Facebook. And I would ask, where is so-and-so? She died. Where is so-and-so? She passed on. Why did they pass on? Depression. Why depression? Marital issues. And I started looking at myself and I was like, I am not better than those that died. That could have been you. That could you have been me. You didn't have the right support system. Correct. And I was like, why can't I encourage women with my story and share with them the practical steps that I did for me to come out? So I reached a place whereby I owned the thing and took responsibility and I stopped blaming him. I stopped blaming myself and I said, this is where we are. Roses must blossom again. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and indeed, you have blossomed. Yeah? So I've been teaching and uh, I've worked in all capacities as a teacher. I've worked as a class teacher, HOD, Christian Union patron, games mistress, senior teacher, deputy principal, until early this year when I resigned as the principal Lukenya Girls. Oh, wow. Okay. So obviously Emma's story is a, is a testament that even after things like divorce and separation, you can still pick yourself up. Oh, yes. Your life can move on, and especially when there are kids involved. So we still have more guests on the show tonight. And of course, I also have experts and relationship counselors who will be putting a lot of these issues into perspective for us. Right now, we'll be taking a very quick break. Still, still more to come here for you on Real Talk. Don't go too far.